Hey guys, so this I guess will be the final episode uh, on the customizing the Dobsonian. Um, and I decided what I want to do. For those few people that commented on what uh, you gave me suggestions, what you thought I should do, I heard you guys, I listened, but I think for me personally, I decided on a way and I'm going to choose that one and not continue this guy. Reason is, okay, this guy, again, is already set 100%. I don't have to cut it. I don't have to fabricate this or get somebody to fabricate this part and that part. The poles, it's all done. It all works. It's the same height. Um, the only thing that I will not be using is this amazing base. It's just too big. It's too high, six and a half inches from the very bottom. I need it down to two inches. So, and I don't want to wreck this base by cutting all the round parts out, the feet and all that. So I'm going to customize my own base. Maybe I'll show you guys that when I customize that base. So I'm going to be, since this one is exactly, works perfectly. There's only one thing it needs to be done. It still needs to counterbalance. So as you can see, everything fits here. I put the handle back up here, back down there on the base. I don't know if you can see that. Um, back over here so you can carry it. Um, I also put in a, a few extra things. These things that originally came on this guy, but they were all up here at the very top. And that's why there's literally about 10, about 12 holes to put these things in place. I don't want it. The whole point of this thing is I want it as light as possible. I want to carry as least amount of things on the field as possible. And some of those things are heavy that I don't want to carry. So I'm transferring on this guy and I'm going to be selling this guy. So I got a very professional tool, uh, angle meter on here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Maybe I'll show you guys up close. So you got a very good quality uh, angle meter. And this one's on Velcro. That way you can just put it on and off uh, to whatever angle, you know. So there you go. You, so this one's a good quality one. I put on here the heated tail rad, mounted it on beside here, image correct 8x50 finder scope. Um, and the Thousand Oaks uh, Dew Controller System. One could be for the uh, secondary, one for the tail rad, of course. Then you could have one for the eyepiece, and then connect it to the power source. And uh, there you go, you got a complete system. So the only thing that this guy needs is maybe a 25 pound. I'm thinking, uh, well, two things, either uh, like a dumbbell, a 25 or 35 pound counterweight, and hook it to the back of the mirror cell, and there's your balancing, or something like this guy. Now this is the Orion, and basically you just, it's, it's magnetic, but that's only three pounds. They only sell a one pound and a three pounds. So literally, I think you need about 25 to 30 pounds. You would probably need 10 of these, I think, eight to 10 to balance it which is, and these are like $89 Canadian. So that would be way too expensive. And I don't really have any more of these. So I think it's better to either make your own out of uh, 10 pound uh, dumbbells and put magnets underneath it. And then that way it could just, boom, you could put like two 10 pounds, see how much more you need. And then if you need a third or a five pound, you're good to go. Okay, and this battery, is looks like it's about 14 pounds um, and for me I just want portability as you guys know portability is one of the number one things for me so with all these things even though they help for me I just really like a tail rad ride gel that's it I normally never use regular traditional finder scopes just because for me I don't need to I can just point with the tail rad ride gel and it's good enough and then, so I don't want to carry that. I don't want to worry about that. I don't want to worry about that, like all these accessories. Since I have a small car, ultra portable is the number one thing. So I'm going to sell this guy as is. I'll let them decide how they want to counterbalance it with either the dumbbells and put uh, 
magnets under or put a maybe 35 uh, pound counterweight underneath and hook it up and that should be fine um, and I'm gonna keep this guy except I cannot use the base I tried putting the base with this telescope on here and it does not work so um, as you guys can see this is the where the original holes are that's where I shortened it so I shortened it a lot right so on this guy I would have to put new holes like one two three in the middle there for it to fit on here and I don't feel like putting new holes again if the new owner wants this base and they don't want to do that and then that way maybe the counterbalancing will be half uh, as much because you know if you have these these uh bearings here instead of there there it's counterbalanced but and so if you put it in the middle maybe you might only need a 10 pound counterbalance so i'll let someone decide if they want to do that but then they have to rebuild the three sides one oh the other side one two and the other side of course to match wherever this thing's going to go so it's uh you know more work uh, for me, I would want ultra portability. I'll let that person decide. I am going to go buy new plywood. And I want to show you what happens when I put this guy on that base. Or actually, maybe I'll show you guys both. Okay. So, with these trellises, all the way at the bottom where I made it for that, it's still, does not balanced. It wants to fall over, of course. Uh, but it does work uh, type of thing. So, but when I put it back in it's an original position and up here, this hits over here. So obviously if it, if it is to work on this guy, it has to go in the middle. I would say probably somewhere there. Um, the round part like that. Then it, as long as you put it where it misses this, it could almost counterbalance, I would say maybe by 10 pounds. So it does kind of work at the lower position. No, it's still too top heavy. It is kind of tall. Let me show you how tall it is. So me standing next to it like this. So now you can kind of get a sense how much taller it is. I'm just can barely on my tippy toes can get it, uh, can see at the zenith. Now again, mind you, if you were to put it in between the low and the high, make three new holes, it probably would be perfect height. You probably only have to counterbalance maybe 10 pounds, I would say. So it can work on this uh, type of thing. Now, let me show you this guy. Okay, so as you can see, this base that I shrunk by a lot, you know, that one that you saw me to uh, do, it, it's actually almost perfect counterbalance. I don't really have to do anything. And what's... It almost fits perfect so let me give you a closer look so th that's why I just decided to keep this because it's all intact um, has the bobs knobs it is all felt lined or a flot we called it um, and if you look here the only reason why it does not fit is because these trellises or these bearings comparing to those are a lot bigger so it doesn't fit in the hole. So it needs about two in a, two inches there, and it would fit if I made this hole bigger or wider, it would fit. And it does go, it does work. Now I did have to take the three feet of it out for it to work. So which means I can do two things on this guy. I can just build this base two inches taller to here, a new base out of the plywood and just build it two inches more. And of course the hole will have to match this circumference instead of the original that circumference. So um, if I did that, then basically I have the height of the base that I want, the um, portability of the light bridge uh, and it all comes to counterbalance. So that's what I have to do. So again, two, two and a half inches more if I rebuild this base in new plywood and I have the base height that I want, the weight that I want, the counterbalancing that I want. I don't have to cut, uh, you know, go through all that procedure with that. So because of that, it looks like it's perfect. I could 
just use this one almost as is. Now I could just widen that one and then that's it, but I want it to go on its original base. And if somebody wants an ultra portable, uh, this base is fine. If they want to put it back to its original 27 inches tall uh, and put the, the, the trellis part or the bearings back up here, and then it's perfectly counterbalanced as well with no extra counterweight, they could do that too. So, but for me, I think I'm just gonna choose that guy. It's almost all set. It won't take me that long to rebuild the base, and it'll probably look similar to that. If you guys wanna see me do that, let me know. I'm probably gonna buy the wood next week. Uh, let's say uh, maybe a month before it's totally done. I know somebody can do it probably in one or two weekends, but again, I'm busy doing videos for you guys. Um, editing, I'm working, you know, cleaning up the house and doing chores. So a lot of things on my plate. Anyway, guys, I know it's a change of plan, but life is always about changing plans. One road all the time. Uh, there's nothing wrong with changing your mind. As you guys saw, my uh, I changed my mind with the star sense. Part one, I didn't like it. Part two, I changed my mind, I like it. So the same thing here. I had a plan in mind, but that was because for almost two years, I couldn't find the 12 inch in this. I settled for the 10, but I just wanted the 12. Um, and now I found it. I don't have to go through all that complexity of making that work when I have this one already. Uh, I do have to do a new base because I want it ultra portable. So even if I had the original Mead base, it probably would not fit in my car unless I chopped the round parts off and shrunk it. Well, I bet you the original base, uh, this is the original scope, the OTA. So if it fits on this guy, the original base was only probably another two inches, two and a half inches more. I bet you that, that that's something that could have fit in my car if I just chop off the round part, which similar to this wouldn't fit. So as long as I made it square to this guy, it probably would work. But anyway, what I decided to do, that's what I'm going to do. It's a lot more headache. Um, that's it. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Uh, if you want to see me build a new base, no problem. Let me know. But anyway, as far as all this tinkering and all that stuff, that's it for me. This is what I chose. That's what I'm going to do. I'll see you guys on the next video. Joe Jaguar out. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody getting into astronomy, send them a link to my channel. If you guys are on the forums and somebody has sent you something like the videos I have, share my link. I'll talk to you guys next time. Why not you? Why not me? Or why not you? Why not me? That's it. Yeah.